Phil back, but it's going to be interesting to see whether Phil what he does now. Have you seen Have you seen all the um, the other outlets saying because he's been teasing on his story saying I'm eight weeks out here I am and is it a tricep? Yeah, I saw that. Do you, What's think, he up to? Do, you do you think yeah. he's pulling a Kyle on us or do you think he's actually seriously going to compete? Uh, to be honest, I like to stay away from no, these things, I but think, I'm going to bring I, it up. I I'm going to bring it up. Might, yeah, to be honest, I think he might just be staying relevant. I think he's just doing like the Kai Green type thing, just teasing. Oh, Phil, don't do it. I don't, I don't, yeah, I, I don't know because I don't know. I suppose I've never, I've, I've never been there. I can't say been there, done that. But that mindset, I suppose, of stepping away from from something, it's 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 hard. But it's like you've got nothing to prove. Like you've you've done it all. Everybody respects you. Everybody appreciates what you've what you've done. But it, it must be very hard for these guys that have been at the top for that long to to you know step away or or not be still you know looked at as as the champ. But I don't know. Whether it's Ronnie Coleman, Phil Heath, Lee Haney, like they're still champions. I don't think anyone, whether they keep competing or not, they've done what they had to do. Well, here's a question: if I if I bring up the name Ronnie Coleman, how many people do you think would say, "Oh, is that Ronnie, the guy who came fourth at the 2007 Olympia?" They say, "No, that's the eight-time Mr. Olympia." Like, like, like exactly Phil. Like, I, I think Phil was a bit down after the Olympia. I got I, that's the feeling I got, the impression I got. He went a bit quiet, yeah. and uh, I, I just thought, is is he? I didn't want him to feel. Because I, I was so excited, and he brought so much excitement that he came back. But I think yeah. I think maybe he was focusing. I don't know. I'm just I'm guessing because I haven't really spoken to him properly since. But I'm thinking maybe yeah. he was like thinking, oh, you know, um, I'm I'm third, or you know, rather than like I'm seven times Mr. Olympia, because that's what he'd be remembered for. Yeah, that's what I mean. Which to, which to us sounds crazy because it's like you've done what you've what you've had to do. You've already reached the pinnacle of bodybuilding, and you've been able to maintain it for so long and be successful. So. I don't think, yeah, I don't think of, if, if I'm looking at his physique now, it's like, okay, yeah, it's definitely not what it was when he won his first Mr. Olympia titles, but no one's expecting it to be. So mm. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's the people that really know bodybuilding that don't care. And maybe they're more just worried about these idiots on Instagram that are, you know, in their mum's basement writing hateful <laughs> comments. Yeah. Like who cares, who cares about them, you know? I tell you what though, if I was Phil, I would love to win an Arnold because that was in 2010 when Kai beat him and I didn't think Kai should have. I think, yeah. I think, because that's unfinished business there, isn't it? I mean, maybe because he's had, he's won the New York Pro, he's won the Olympia seven times, he's won everything else. He, I, I, I'm sure he would love to end his career with an Arnold win as well. And I would love to see that. And, and a proper, and a proper oh, Arnold winner, like an like a, a American Arnold. Yeah. And, and, and that would be absolutely amazing. And I don't think that it's, it's not, so many people knocked him on like, oh, condition, this, that, and the other. On the last Mr. Olympia, I saw some things and that's yeah, like, it's he, for me, he looked exactly like his old self. It's like, okay, the, the midsection um, was better, I found, than, than the previous the previous time. Yeah. And he's obviously he's obviously working working on that. And I think he, it's not as if he doesn't know that. Mm. So everyone that says, oh, yeah, but his midsection, it's like, well, hello, everyone fucking, everyone, we're not blind. Mm. <laughs> But I think Phil, I think Phil is getting um, getting it more and more, more and more under control. And if he does the Arnold's, I, that'd be amazing. That'd be such a, a great way to finish. Such a great way to finish. Yeah, I would love to see him win an Arnold. And I don't know, would he? Uh, he would have to do the Olympia, wouldn't he? If it's only a few weeks afterwards, what do you? If, what would you do if you were yeah. Phil Heath and you won the Arnold in September? You won the American Arnold. Would you then <laughs> go and do the Olympia, or would you just go right? I'm just, I'm just going to drop the mic and leave it there. That's it. I'm done for the year. What would you do? Nah, I, like I said, I, I don't think I don't. I would do the Olympia 100 percent because I don't think you know your mindset there. It's like you've already you've already won them all. Like so, just just keep doing it. You just do it for the fans, then. Yeah, but I, I did not. If I was Phil, I don't know what I'd do. If I won, the, if I was Phil, and I won the Arnold. I mean, it's very hypothetical. <laughs> but then, yeah, then yeah. would he like think, oh shit, do I want to get second or third or fourth at Olympia? Do I want to go out on a high with what you know the show I needed, to, I wanted to win, the only one of the full set that I needed? I don't know. I don't know. It's a tricky one. Oh well, we, I suppose we yeah, can speculate like, till cows out, come home. Do you go out on a high? Do you go out? Do you go out on a high based on? other people's thoughts of you or do you go out on high just of you just doing the show just because you you know your love and passion for for the sport I, yeah i don't know yeah i suppose like, even, I if, you get, even if you get even if you get even if you get even if you even if you get fourth you're still going to pick up what like 100k or something as well so that's probably a an incentive yeah, to diet exactly. two extra weeks yeah and and, and, and yeah I, I suppose even though the bodybuilding lifestyle is as um demanding as it is 
if you're not doing it and when you fall out of it, like even for me now, like fuck, all I want to do is is really kind of do a contest prep. Yeah. I just want to start prepping for something because it's like far out. You feel like you feel like it's almost getting further and further away. It's like I just want to go back into that regimented lifestyle again. Yeah.